Hi everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I will be making pudajjigae. <laughs> I don't have anything in the pot right now. I just want to show you guys how I prepared or like cut um, my meats and like vegetables and all because I do cut them a little differently, especially my hot dogs, um, the way I like it. So I want to wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so to begin with, uh, we have a couple of stuff on the side right here, but. Um, so I do have my hot dog and bologna and just American cheese. So let's start off with bologna. So this one should be the easiest to cut. Um, I have like five pieces here. So I have that. And then the way I like it is just into four, um, four slices. No, four slices. So I like to divide them into four pieces like this so what i'm going to do is kind of try to separate them a little so when they cook they're not you know like stuck together you know i finally got some workout in this morning so i feel pretty great so i'm gonna put that right there um and if you want you could put it like across the pan just to kind of create the like symmetrical look um, which i might do okay i'm gonna do that and then let's get our hot dogs so some hot dogs here and with the hot dogs i really like to cut them thin very thin slices like um so i will start in this corner like that i like it thin and long um so okay, that one's really bad okay, so like i like that um but more even i guess and thinner because once once they cook they kind of like curl in and i really like that when they cook No, not for you, baby. <clears throat> so like that. Perfect. Okay, next. Okay, so I have some kimchi, and I'm going to just pour this right here. All of it. I also have some uh, glass noodles, which I left it in uh, really hot water for a while so they cooked fast so I'm gonna put them right here honestly whatever you have in the refrigerator I'm pretty sure you could dump it in here and it'll taste amazing so this is my vegetable plate and let's add some tofu um, for my pudajjigae this is I like to cut it like this um, for like but for my like soybean paste or like you know like tenjang I like to cut it in more hey Come, sit, sit right there, sit. I mean, no, 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 sit. Okay, but yeah, so I have my tofu, I'm gonna put them here. I think that's enough. Okay, and then, ooh, I do, oh, I have some onions. I like mine pretty thin, because I really like mixing the meat and what vegetables or whatever with my rice um, and I would like them to be very like you know very thin kind of mix well with other stuff so if it's too bulky you know it won't do that so there's a lot of onions <laughs> oh well okay well we have a lot of onions right there and then I have pork, so pork is just very small cut. I just dump that in there. Okay, and then I do have, which one should I add first? I do have baked beans. I used the canned ones, I'll dump it in here. Okay, what next? Okay, let's cut up some jalapeno. Put that in there. Go away. Go away. Okay. And then I have my scallions. For my scallions, I want to cut them pretty big. Chunky. Like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, 
I think that is the last of it. Um, oh, we could add the cheese right now. We could put it on top of kimchi. Okay, let's put one top of kimchi. And then on top of the glass noodles. And then maybe onions. Put the onions. Mmm. 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 Onion. Yeah, like that. Yay. Um, and most importantly, the sauce. Uh, this is, I'll have the ingredient right here. But it's really, really easy to make. Um, but everybody has a little different way to <clears throat> uh, make their own sauce for buddhajjigae. But they're all, all like very similar, you know. So I'll just dump that in here first. So if, I'm going to just add plain water. I don't want to add too much. Just enough. All I have to do is wait for it to boil. So once it boils, I'll be right back. Okay. So it's starting to boil a little bit. I'm going to start mixing in the sauce. Just have to make sure it boils thoroughly because I do have pork in here. Um, but otherwise, everything else should be okay. But the pork needs to cook very thoroughly. You know? So, I just wait a couple more minutes and it should, yeah, it should start boiling very, very soon. So, I'm just going to lower this just a little bit. Oh my god, it's so freaking loud outside. Like, the when they're actually drilling something across, like literally like next door outside. So it's not even indoor, so it's outdoor, so it's really, really loud. Um, I don't know what they're drilling, but this apartment is just always doing something. Every apartment we go to, they're always doing something. See, I really like how the hot dogs turn out like this. How much rice I have today? Mmm. Mmm. the bologna lower it. Bologna is good but you definitely can't beat the hot dog in here. Ah, oh, so loud. Try the this is onions. 
Mmm. Mmm. Try this. Fast noodles. Sometimes living in the city, I mean the reason why I moved to the city is becoming the reason why I want to leave the city. Like sometimes I just want to be like in the middle of forest, have like a cute house there, just me and the nature and maybe a couple more dogs with Ame. it at warm mm. so I love being in the city because you never feel alone like I look outside there's always cars going even like middle of the night 3 a.m. 3 a.m. there's still cars outside and you always hear this like train noise and like I liked it it just like it worked as like a white noise for me kind of like even if I'm alone all day, I'm really, it doesn't feel like I am, I, I'm alone. But, it's becoming, definitely becoming uh, a reason why I don't want to be here anymore. I want, sometimes I just really, so sometimes I really like going down to the burbs, up to the burbs. Because it's just so quiet, it's, it's spacious. I'm pretty sure once I move back to the burbs again, I'm gonna be like, oh, I miss the city. You no, know? only if I could own two houses, right? One in the burbs and one in the city. So sometimes, so. Next year, when I move to the suburbs, maybe if I miss the city, I'll have like a weekend in the city, get like a hotel or something. Kimchi.
I think I'm just the type that can't live in one area for long. Like this apartment right now where our lease is 15 months because we were able to get three months or two months free if we if we stayed here for 15 months which i really regret doing but at the moment it just seemed like a really good deal and it was but i don't think i could just live here for 15 months well i have to but Got the beans. Why the beans? And beans. And jalapeno and tofu. Kind of mix it. Some pork. So annoying, so loud. I'll turn this off. Question of the day is what takes too long? Traffic. Traffic takes way too long. Um, I mean, there's a lot that I wanted to answer. But the first thing that came to me was traffic. Because 
to get in and out of Chicago, downtown Chicago, there's always traffic. There used to be time where between like certain t- certain hours there was no traffic, like, and we used to have traffic hours. But right now, I think every hour except for like midnight at past midnight, there's always traffic, guaranteed. And I heard it's because of the whole Lyft and Uber. They're constantly just driving like when they don't need to. They're just constantly driving to pick up people waiting for like calls. And I know that there's like uber pool where like um you kind of go on with like different people but how many of you guys actually use that instead of just uber x you know it's just i don't know we totally tried once but it just was too much like it took us 40 minutes to get to one place where we could have went for like 15 so we're like yeah i don't know if it's worth it so if you guys are like me you probably won't like to use that kind of system because I heard they came up with that to decrease the traffic time, whatever. And Omar on the cars that's like, you know, running. So I remember working, you know, before, like around the time I started YouTube, I used to work in the city, like very south of the city. Um, I remember, so I, like, I ended work right when the traffic starts. So sometimes I get lucky. And, like, beat the traffic, right, like, by a minute or so. But I usually get stuck in traffic and it drove me nuts. Like, I wanted to start scribbling shit on the window with my lipstick. I, w- I was screaming, like, I was just going, like, literally, like, I had the the wheel and I would go like this. I was, I was going crazy. I was like, oh, my God. I was yelling. I was just swearing. It drove me nuts. It drove people nuts. And I don't know how some people do it really well. Some people, like, it doesn't seem like it bothers them as much. But traffic drives me crazy. Um, it got worse ever since I started, you know, being with Tong because he gets s- so s- such a short temper when it comes to traffic. So like it just I kind of maybe I rubbed it rubbed off of me, off of him to me, um, because. It just whenever I hear traffic, automatically it's like, oh, it's really, it is a bad thing, but it's just like, it makes me get in a bad mood. I honestly don't mind driving alone in the traffic um, when I have my coffee. <laughs> um, that I listen to music, I just like sip on my coffee. So actually, I don't mind being in the traffic like that. Um, you know, as long as I'm not in a hurry or anything like that, I really don't mind. On top of that, driving is when I actually really think about a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so, so when I'm in traffic, I get through a lot of thinking, <laughs> surprisingly. But if you're in, like, a really bad situation, like, when things are really going bad for me and I'm stuck in traffic, then I think, usually think about, like, negative things and think too much of it. Like, I worry too much.
But usually it's not a big deal. I'm not really a music person. Like, I'm definitely not up to date. So what do I listen to? I actually really like to listen to the 80s. 70s, 80s, and early 2000s. R&B. So obviously I can't finish all this, but I should finish the noodles. Goodness. Mm. So when I started eating meat again, I actually didn't realize how much effect it would have on me. So I didn't eat meat for like what eight, nine months. Well, chicken, I picked it up like earlier than that, but like beef, pork, I didn't eat um, for, yeah, about eight to nine months. And I didn't think that start eating again would affect my body. But um, when I started eating that, when I started eating, you know, steak and whatever, I felt so tired. I was after I eat, even the day after, I was just like, I'm just so tired, exhausted, I just want to sleep. And I didn't, I didn't know why. I'm just like, is it because I stopped working out as much? Or what was it? Like, why should I be this tired? Like, is it really the age? No, it shouldn't be, right? And I really think it's the meat. So I was doing my own, like, research and, you know, like, meat usually stays in your stomach a little longer than other stuff because... It's more complex to digest. Hi, Poopy. I'm trying to get his nail clipped at home, but he hates it. It's about to take you. But anyways, yeah. But I think I'm getting better with it. Um, maybe I should introduce it a little, little bit more slow. But it happened. Um, so it's, it's not a good feeling at all. Like I just, it just on 
it wasn't even like I was productive the day, productive the day before the, or the morning of. It just I was just so exhausted. Food is medicine. It really is. Man, recently I've been trying to not drink coffee in the morning or as much because coffee really is the number one reason for me to have any acid reflux so I make sure I drink water in the morning and if I want to have coffee I make sure there's I ate something before that Stop it. I'm so full. I actually don't like the beans that much. It's too thick. I'll just try to finish the rice. Oh, so full. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here today. If you guys enjoyed today's mukbang, um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, please. Give this video a thumbs up, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.